Hi guys, today we're going to be doing a review and a setup installation of uh, Celes IT500 internet thermostat. Alright, uh, this is what comes in the box. Uh, we have the unit here. Nice design, straightforward. We'll see how that works once I've connected it. This is uh, the receiver that the wiring needs to be done in. That needs to be connected. Uh, that's uh, the back plate. Uh, good idea of having a level fit so you're not feeling it bent. Um, this is the stand. If you were uh, not to fit this on the wall, then you can just clip that onto the back over here and have it resting like that. Uh, these are some screws and batteries for that. And this is where your Ethernet cable will be fitting into here and connects to your Wi-Fi. So a blanking plate, if you have any other wiring that needs to be covered up, uh, straightforward there. This is your <coughs> installer manual and this is your user manual. It's all straightforward, it will go through all of this. And if you don't have this, you can also find this all online. Uh, I'll be connecting this uh, unit to my Boiler here, which is a Valent Ecotec Plus 831. My current setup is uh, I have a Danfoss here, a timer, and a wireless Honeywell Roomstat, which has served me well, but now and again it does lose connection and I have to come back here and uh, resync it. Right, uh, I will be using the following connections. Let's switch that off first. I will be using the switch live, which is number three here, and this is my normally open connection there. And on the unit, let's come back here, it will be the common here and normally open here. So it's just a straightforward connection, and obviously, your live and neutral that needs to go in there. I'll show it to you when I've connected onto the wall and you can have a look. The wiring connection has been done and this is the spur. Spurs connected into the receiver. It's a straightforward connections here. Live neutral, switch live and normally open. And that's the receiver which will be fitted here. Now let's just quickly look into the boiler. And that's uh, the live neutral and earth. And that's the switch live and normally open. Okay, I'm going to screw this onto the wall, connect all my other cables and uh, fire this thing up. Okay, everything has been now connected and fixed onto the wall. Power's on there and boiler's all working. That's all fine. Right, now let's see how do you do with this. Switch on. That's showing the current temperature in here. Let's get the boiler to fire up. Just increase that. More than the current temperature and click the tick. And you hear a click there, which has sent the signal to the receiver. And now the boiler should fire up. Any second go, the boiler has fired up. And back to the unit. Let's have a look. got the flame sign indicating that the boiler has fired. Now we'll try using the app to turn the heating off. So look. That's the current temperature at the moment on the display. We'll just turn it off there. That will then send the signal to the Wi-Fi unit as you hear that click sound there, that's the boiler going off, that's the receiver and that's the boiler turned off there and that's stripped back on the unit here and the flame signal has gone off there okay then now we're gonna try to set up a program here um, when we want the heating to come on and off see how straightforward this should be Login. 
Right, see down here at the bottom, it says schedule, manual, and then off. In the summer, it will be off all the time, so we'll just for how to set this up, we're gonna see how to do this. And if you see here, it says all. You can set it up if you want to five and two, which is weekdays and weekend settings, or you can do individual settings over there. We'll just use all for now, and as you can see here, this is the start time. Uh, this is uh, when what temperatures you want at that certain times. Okay, so there you have it, everything's all straightforward. Uh, if you guys need any more help or any inf more information regarding this setup, uh, you can email me or you can uh, send me a text or even a WhatsApp message.